Alright, so I just had a subscriber ask me about a few things. Here's some games I'm just putting them aside for now. Alright. Somebody had asked me what kind of setup I used and like how the hell did they did I manage to hook an Elgato up to an N64? Well here's the drawer's mask. It is 9.53. My camera. I don't know what's wrong with it though, but it's just maybe it's a smudge. Anyway, look back here. Everything's connected. Here's the wire, AV wire. Now, excuse that. I'm gonna clear out this out of the way. See how I have? I don't have my thing hooked up right now. The cables are right here. There's the other cables right there. They're, they go into the HDMI out, which is right there, and then there's the USB to connect to your computer. That should all go out that way. Sorry, the stupid blur on this camera. And then here should be, there should be nothing in here. That won't even be used when you're doing this. And then this cable, which is the AVN, should come out. And I'm going to turn this light off for now. The green and the blue, you will not use. The green blue inputs, you can just say fuck. Now, the red cable that comes out of that will have the yellow N64 cable, I marked mine. And the other red and blue one will have the red and white. Uh, the other red and white cable will go through here. Okay, hold on, I'll, I'll pull it out so I can show you your color so you're not confused. Maybe if you're colorblind, I don't know. But, you know, red and white. I'll just put them in here. Shit. Get in there. Now, I'm going to show you how to connect it. That's, this is just the AV cables. Once you're done that, you're good. You're good for that part. And if you're wondering what the hell's on here, the plasticking. I left on here so I don't have fingerprints all over it. This, you need to make sure it's connected to your computer. If it doesn't connect to the software, which there is the downloads on the box that you get, you just go to gamecapture.com slash downloads. Um, I'll put that link in the description as well if you don't understand that. I can't believe I'm making a how-to for this. This is pretty bad. Now, you have this cable. It's the same on the other end as well. This is an HDMI cable that goes both ways. In the back here, I'm going to need my light, my pen flashlight. Over that, that's all my wires. Um, sorry if it's a little dark back here. I have my HDMI, which is, if you see that right there, it says HDMI DVI input. Well, this is the cable right here, and if I follow it, all the way over here. Right now, it's disconnected. It's not connected at all. The reason for this is I don't leave this connected to the TV because the TV is always powered. I always have power running through the TV through here. So at any time, this TV is always powered on. It's always got energy running through it. It's just turned off. So if I connect it to here, it gets short circuit. So safety reasons, when I'm done streaming, or done capturing anything, I turn this TV off and then I unplug both plugs. I go here. So I'm going to plug this. I'm going to pretend it's plugged in. We'll just say it that. And as I told you, the this cable, if you don't get a connection, it won't work. So I'm going to turn these both on now. So I'm going to hook these both up. You can watch, I guess. I don't know if you're able to see what I'm doing here. So. Make sure it's firmly in. This is in. Alright. Both in. Everything's firm connected. I thought these would go a little deeper. You could see a little, some of it sticking out. That's fine. This light's still on. So, I'm going to turn on the TV. If you have it hooked up to HDMI, make sure everything is pointed out. That's an indicator. There should be two plugs right here based on where the triangle is pointing. Now, my signal says unable to get a signal. 
I hooked them up, but now it's getting a signal. It's black because nothing's on. I did that just now and I got an indication on my computer. Again, very sorry for the blur. I don't know what the hell is on this camera. And what the hell is with the brightness setting. It has an auto bright. I apologize. <laughs> Right now, it is actually streaming it, and I can tell because that is yellow. Usually when I don't have it set up, it's green. That signifies that it's in a standby state. But while you're looking at this, you'll notice that it might be a little dark because it's composite. It's actually really dark compared to most of the games they play. So over here, I have it streaming. It's going to be a little bit of a delay. Game volume, you have the Elgato capture right up here. I'll zoom in a little bit. Now, it actually registers it, it's like 40, 40, 80, 480, whatever, because that's as high as this is actually capable of. It's in, it's in, it's in 64, you're not going to get much. Um, in capture, this is the important part. Under that, input devices other, and you're going to, like, see, so you have Xbox One 360, iPad, your phone. I, I don't know who the hell would do an iPhone, but... Maybe somebody who wants to desperately record apps. I don't know. But you want to set your input to composite. Now, I'm going to select component, and you can watch. This will go off. It'll, it'll just switch. Like, here's here's S-Video. I have S-Video, though, but this is not what I'm going to use. I haven't really tried it. But here, this, it's trying to flip out. It doesn't know what to do. It's flipping out because I put it on S video. I'm gonna put it back to composite, and here's the setup for it. It'll tell you. Composite video input. You connect video game consoles through two options. This is the normal one, but you don't have. This doesn't. This isn't. You know. They're not white, yellow, red. They're blue. And Jesus Christ, that is loud you have this option down here, which is what I just explained. Alternative red connector and the yada yada yada, I fucking showed you, whatever. Don't show this message again, but I'm never gonna click that, just for future reference, but this is all set up. You can put it into a higher, I'm gonna have it on 720. And there's the other options, this is completely optional. So, I'm sorry for the shaky camera and everything. There is also an option in here to, where is it, the picture, sorry, I'm, like, I'm not looking at the camera, it is a whole bunch of options, brightness, contrast, and saturation, these actually work in real time, like, here's the picture right now, it's not really that great, I'm going to turn up the brightness, and I'm going to turn it down, see, I can play with it, based on whatever I have this set. You can even see in the preview in the background, if you haven't used it before. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. If I want to make it really colorful, I can go bad shit with it. But my usual preference is this. For this game in general, it's this. Because this game is... it's get, It gets pretty dark in certain spots. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. I don't want the saturation too high. Perfect. Yeah, like, for some time, like, you can't even... It's one of those games that's really hard to see anyway, so I, I turn it to this. And I'm not in control of it, but... If you notice, the quality of it... If you see... Look, that, look at them pixels. That's how bad it's going to come out, because it's composite. It's not HDMI input. It HDMI would come out the same way, because the format that was originally used was bad. It's, it's old. <laughs> Them pixels. And yes, I'm playing like that. Here, here's what it looks like up close, the attack button. <laughs> this is a really crappy pixel. <laughs> But you know, I'm playing like this though, but mainly I'm just looking at this. 
but it's always late, so I'm stuck to this. But that that's it. That's literally how you do it. And if I wanted to, as I showed in the earlier video, I could shut this off and it will continue. There's the preview key down there. But I'm not recording this right now, so this is going to flash like crazy because my TV is shit. But I'm going to switch the games and I don't know. I'm about, I'm about Mario 64. Fuck it. Switch, it's still going. It's not getting a signal though, but it would get audio feed. It's not starting out. Why is that? Glass is blowing to the fucking cartridge. There we go. That was weird. There's my file. Oh, keep talking. Very nice. Quality is good. <laughs> and the show again. Quality is still shit. Anyway, that was it. I'm done here. We're good. I'm turning this off. This is going off. And now I'm gonna power it down. I'm gonna disconnect the cables. I'm gonna wait two hours before I start my actual stream for Twitch. <sighs> Alright, there we go. We're done. That's it. That's how you set them up, bro.